Yeah, it was, it was disappointing, uh, definitely disappointing. That's a good word to use, but I reckon um, full credit to Fremantle, just with their intensity at the contest was terrific, and we just couldn't get anything going our way. Um, we, had a, we had a few players that, that played really good games, the lady sitting next to me included, um, but, yeah, that's... Um, that's just credit to the 21 players that played for Fremantle today. They were really good and came with a purpose, and um, well done to them. Yeah. Yeah, I knew that question would come up. <laughs> um, look, to be honest with you, we spoke about it right from the start, and we knew exactly what the conference system was, what we had to do, and at the end of the day, we've lost to Fremantle and Adelaide um, by a little bit. But, and both times, and um, yeah, that I think that's a true reflection of probably where we're at. And it is what it is. It's not like it was made up two weeks ago. Um, we can't control that. We just control what we could. And it was pretty simple today. We had to win to make it, and we didn't. Yeah, I think it's something we'll probably re review and have a look at. And I'm sure Nicole Livingston will sit down with us and get our opinions on it and things like that. Um, you know, there's new teams coming in. There's a lot of challenges with, with making up a competition, how it's run, and there's commercial realities, and um, it's a tough job. And yeah, there's there's no way the AFL sat there and thought, oh well, how can we, uh, you yeah, know, not have the best teams playing in a final system? And um, it, it is what it is. It's yeah, of course we're disappointed because we lost, but uh, we had we had control of the outcome today, and. Uh, we just couldn't get it done. So next year, yep, we'll have a review and see what happens. But again, you know, whatever they come up with is exactly what we'll go with. Yeah. Absolutely, and that's exactly it. It's uh, you know, it's there's there's no team in an expansion in in the world that's come on and uh, won a championship. You know, all sports. So it's it's a, an incredibly hard thing to do, and it's hard because. It's hard to get people together to play to a system um, in such a short time with, with the hours we have the players. That, that, that's hard. And then it's, it's hard because you, you don't really know each other. And I think today you saw Fremantle had played together for a little bit and their, their players are, are they're match hardened. And that's, that's what you get. And um, we had a really good crack at it. And I'm really super proud of the, the players. And you know, Emma, Emma said, spoke after the game. She can probably elaborate a little bit further on what she spoke about. But um, I just think that it's... It's hard for a reason, and uh, you know, GWS are expected to come into the men's competition and had that many draft picks. Everyone said they'll win the next ten flags. They're still yet to win one. It's it's not easy. Um, well, we're not better than Fremantle and Adelaide, and they're playing finals, so it doesn't really bother us. Um, last year, the top two teams just played straight into the grand final. This year there's two weeks of finals, but we didn't finish top two in our conference. So, um, yeah, it is it is exactly what it is. Um, we knew that going in. Um, at the end of the day, the two best teams will play in the grand final and that's what the competition needs and we'll have a cracking grand final. Yeah, I'm, I'm super proud of the effort from the girls. Uh, last year when I won a premiership, we lost two games. Um, we lost two games this year. Um, and for, you know, we've got half the list who've never played AFLW, so they've now had a taste of it. Um, you know, tough conditions when you've got, um, you know, 5,000 Freo fans um, up against probably 200 of our North fans. So, um, yeah, it's a great experience for them. They'll learn and grow and develop and, and we'll be back better and, better and stronger for next year. Uh, they, they play quite similarly, like they've both got really quick forward lines, um, they really surge the ball forward. I think, uh, it's, it's hard to tell, but I think probably Adelaide, just they've got that X factor, um, you know, Marinoff and Phillips in the middle and they both, you know, especially Phillips hits the scoreboard as well, so it's hard to stop. Um, that's probably my tip though, Adelaide. Uh, I don't really watch too much footy, so I might just go back home on the farm and chill out then. No worries. Thanks. Thank you.